What's up YouTube, that's what beats back with another video. Today what I'm doing, I'm showing you how to delete a drum program and save the other sounds that you have inside. Instead of deleting all the, the sounds, we're just going to keep the sounds that's there but delete the drum program. Because sometimes when you come here and you delete the drum program and you do purge all sound, it will delete everything that's in your um, right here in your samples. But you don't want to do that, I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright, let's go, let's get it. Let's say we have some samples. Let's just bring some samples in. Bring some samples in. All right, this is our samples, right? But we want to we want to add a kit. Let's add a program. So we have the program and we had them samples that we brought in there, right? So if we come right here, we'll see the kit right here. All right? So this is all the kits, right? That we just put in there. That's just the kit, not the samples that we put in first. So if you want to delete just the kit, you'll come right here, drop down, right click, right click on the on the program that you want to delete, and just hit delete, delete, right? Once the, once the program is gone, the samples is still here. So to get the samples to, to move from here, you'll come to this drum program, this um, trash can, and purge unused sample. Once you do that, then they're gone. Alright? But the kits, only reason why I dumped dumb the ones that's moved, because I didn't put them on the a, on a audio track. Alright, so let's do it. Let's do it again. Let's uh, come here. Put one. Put one, right? Let's say we use these, we use, we're going to use these. Let's put one here. Let's put one here. Let's put this here. Let's put this here. So those are being used, right? Since those are being used, we're going to go back to MIDI. Let's go to a program. Say we add our program, right? Now we have the drum program in here. Let's see. Make sure. All right. That's the drum program. Say we want to get rid of the drum program, but we want to keep these samples that was that we brought in first. What we do is we'll come here again, delete. Once we do delete, we delete it. Again, the program is gone, but the samples is still here. Right? So to get rid of the samples, you come here. If you want to get rid of the samples, you'll purge unused samples. Remember the ones that we already put, we already put them on a um on the audio track so those won't go away but the ones that's being unused is these because the program is gone so now these we just hit do it see these are still there because it's still on this audio track but the drum program is gone and the sounds from the drum program is gone so that's how you do that it's just real simple somebody asked me how to do it and I'm showing how to do it. I think I made the video before, but I couldn't find it. I couldn't show them where to go look for it. So this is how you do it. All right. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Just a real quick video. All right. Let's go. Let's get it. Peace. Let's go.